What's up guys, how you all doing? For today's video, I'm going to show you how to melt and filter all the wax capping so we can make candles or other things with the beeswax. Beeswax is pretty expensive. So we're going to melt it, filter the beeswax and make a cube of wax. There is lots of different methods to do it. So this is one of the methods. I tried to do solar method and it just have not stopped raining or always cloudy. Look at these clouds. It's just not enough sun to melt the wax with the solar method. By the way, I cannot believe how much support I've been getting on a beekeeping video. So many views and so many likes. I did not think that so many people are actually going to be interested in the beekeeping videos. So I'm just going to keep it up. And because honey harvest has been so awesome and we got about 60 gallons of honey out of all the bees, I have designed a new t-shirt gold foil this is a bee bee combs if you guys are interested get one of yours limited time only link in the description where you can buy it and thank you so much for supporting me all right let's get to this video i like one of these portable stoves that way i can if i spill wax i don't have to clean it as much it's not like it's going to be burned up my kitchen so i'm gonna put it on low okay it's burning then i'm gonna put the pot on top of it Boom, just like this. This is the super beeswax. That's why it's so beautiful and clean. And I let the bees clean it out so that way it does not have any honey. As you can see, it's melting pretty fast. I should probably take down the, the temperature. So you don't want it to boil. You want it to all of it to melt. Now you see that most of the beeswax is now melted but there's so much junk on top of it so that's why we want to filter it also what i got this container like that put filter in put it like that this is just a coffee filter because we're going to do it really cheap and then i got the lid and made a hole into it and then i'm just gonna hang it like this so i can pour a lot of beeswax in and then close it now we're going to grab all this beeswax, looks like it's all melted, you see it? And pour it into here. You see how much gunk there is inside of this wax? Boom. And as you can see, all the wax is pouring down over here into the container. And look how much junk there is. You know what, I noticed slowly editing is the best way. That way, once it kind of cools off, you put a little bit more of a hot wax. And that way, it heats up again and straining again. Do you hear it? It's dripping pretty well. That's what we want to hear. You see all that mess over here? You don't want to have it in your wax. But also, after you're done with this, don't throw it away. This is actually could be a really good fire starter for camps or whatever you're going to do. I do make bonfires all the time, so this is could be very useful. Boom. Look at that wax burning so well. So don't necessarily throw away those little pieces. Because that definitely makes it a good fire starter. As you can see, it's burning for a while, that's for sure. All that wax left over, it's just perfect. Boom. At the same time, you get yourself little fire starters. So definitely save those, maybe put it in some kind of Ziploc bag, and it'll be good fire starter for your next bonfire or whatever. You see how this piece of paper is burning, but really it's wax burning right here too. That's why it's burns for so long. This is pretty slow, but look at that. That's quite a bit of wax. I like that so far. Let's try to use a paper towel instead this time. Instead of coffee filter, let's see if it's going to be any faster. Going to make a deep on side of it. Okay, let's pour it in here once again. But this time it's paper towel. Look at all that gunk inside of it. That's what we don't want. It looks like it was clean wax, but look at that gunk. Just gonna pour it all in. I don't know if you can see it, but so far I like the paper towel a little bit better because it's dripping much, much better. It's actually flows, it doesn't even drip. 
it's a pretty good flow going down so all I have to do is just wait till it filters all the way in and then we're going to take off that paper towel and see what happens the rest to it you know what guys it's actually filtering pretty good look at it honestly I like honestly I almost like way I actually like paper towel I honestly like paper towel way better it's filtering too a lot faster and look at all that gunk that I don't want to have it in my wax so definitely does the job pretty good and I'll save this to start my bonfires there you go guys finally cooled off that's a pretty good size piece of beeswax definitely can make a good size piece of candle cannot wait to make a beeswax candle well guys that's pretty much it so we have to filter beeswax before we can make candles or whatever it is so for the solar hopefully soon enough we're going to have a full day of sun and maybe we will be able to actually melt a lot of wax at once using solar method i like solar method probably the best because you can do a lot of wax at once so maybe i probably will even buy like about hundred dollar solar melter and actually do all my wax at once because i have a lot of wax look at this wax that's a lot of wax to melt and if i'm gonna be sitting here with the pot filtering it's gonna take me a long time so what i'm actually going to do is get solar beeswax melter and i'll show you how to use it and how to set it up and hopefully i'll get a good one i saw one about 100 bucks we'll see if it was a good idea well guys that's pretty much it thank you for watching and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up see you next time